My name is Denise Co Genovese. I'm associate editor at Unquote, part of the Acuus Group based in London. And I'm delighted to be here at IPEM, the private equity conference in Cannes, with Patricia Miller Zola, um, managing director of Neuberger Berman. Patricia, Thanks so much for coming. I am delighted to be here today. Great. And Patricia, I understand you've just been at the First Time Managers Conference, the summit, where, to my understanding, they bring together LPs such as yourselves and first time managers, those with less than two funds raised, bringing them together to share ideas and look about what the market's doing. Tell us how it went. You know, it was really exciting. As you said, Denise, it was my first time, uh, my first time being here. And so my first time at the summit, uh, what was great is uh, there were probably 40 or 50 individual sponsors, GPs in the audience. And one of the panels, the panel that I was on was just for LPs uh, focused on small and emerging managers, which I think it just says something about just how the emerging manager space has grown. We talked about the sheer numbers of people here people are really looking for emerging managers. And you could feel the energy in the air at the summit just now. I mean, people were talking about the numbers of managers they've invested in. We've been investing in the space for a very long time. If you look at over the last 10 years, we've invested a tremendous amount of capital in first time funds because we see that they perform well. And uh, we wanna be aligning ourselves and backing these managers that we think will perform well over the long term. And as an LP, you obviously have lots of GPs coming to you, asking you for money to invest in their funds. How do you gauge and judge what a good new first time manager is? And is that very different to how you gauge some of the more veterans of the private equity scene? So first off, when it comes to, we see hundreds of managers every year across our platform. We are a large investor in the private equity space. And so we try to see pretty much everyone that's in the market. That being said, uh, certainly as we think about emerging managers or established managers, the underlying thing that we're looking for is great returns, great risk adjusted returns that will fit into a portfolio in which clients have asked us to construct for them. So it starts there full stop. So in terms of what we want, we don't want anything different from an emerging manager. We want them to perform well. Now, it turns out though, for an emerging manager, there are some different things that we have to look at and we have to evaluate as opposed to an experienced manager that might have three or four funds already. For the emerging manager, we want to make sure, first and foremost, that the strategy that they have selected, that they are saying that they can do a good job in, is actually one that makes sense based on the skills that they bring to the marketplace. And that they can clearly articulate exactly what that special sauce is that they have. I mean, why, is, why do they need to be in a particular area? Why are they going to be able to deliver value more so than someone else can? And so we evaluate that. We evaluate, is this the right team to do this? Is this the right strategy for them to be doing? Are they bringing together all the right resources in order to really be able to create value? And so with an emerging manager, you have to look at different things yes. because there's not you know, 10 different investments or from power records. funds or a track record that you can see, right? And so what we always say is we will invest in a first-time fund but not a first-time investor so you really have to have shown whether or not you were you know you know you bought a company and you ran it as an operator or maybe you were a key partner with another big sponsor and you want to spin out on your own we need to be able to see that you've actually had live artillery ammunition and you've actually been able to actually create value there great thanks <coughs> that's really interesting and just lastly can I ask you how sentiment changed has the market changed in how we perceive first-time managers. Is it still really viewed as highly risky as a business? Or do people think, wow, there's been so much money raised that needs to be deployed, everyone's piling in? Because I've heard that often first-time managers, their first funds are the best in terms of returns. Yes. So it is true. First time funds represent a tremendous opportunity for additional returns. But if you look at the, if you look at the distribution of returns, it is a broader distribution. So that means that there's kind of more risk. I mean, when you're talking about a more experienced manager, the distribution curve is much tighter than it is for first time funds. Hmm. And so what you know is that there's the opportunity for upside, but you also know if you don't choose properly. And if the managers don't do well, there's also the opportunity for much greater downside. And so making sure that you look at the attributes that are necessary for success end up being very important. So I think that um, even though this greater dispersion of returns exist, 
I think that there are a lot more LPs, a lot more institutional investors that see the opportunity for emerging managers. And because certainly over the last decade or so, some of those emerging managers, kind of to your point, have become some of the most successful managers in the world, many LPs like myself and institutions we represent want to get in early because we're trying to identify when they're very young, we're trying to identify those core portfolio positions over time. We're trying to make sure we can get allocation over time. And certainly we're trying to make sure that we actually get to know these managers and really understand and actually are able to see in portfolio terms what they do best. Great. Patricia Miller-Zola, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Denise.